Hey, I'm KIC, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everyone is showing up to shop at my stores. Yeah. Well, maybe not yet. Technically, the employees are all rolling in, and they are getting ready for what is going to be a gangbusters, blockbuster, record-breaking excitement spree of... I kind of ran out of words. I don't know. Of stuff being sold and bought and all sorts of exciting things. Except we still have another day, so... (laughs) I know, we are getting there, though. We are so close. I told you that this episode would have Christmas, and it will. We got to start with the winter season, though, which... uh, Technically, the start of winter ends in a few hours. Oh! Break their legs! I think the legs have already been broken. Good job, whoever that was. I don't even know. Is that you? You had to stop and go on break. Steven, Stefan, Stefan, good, good work. Wow, we've got Valentine's Day coming out, coming back around pretty soon. Not to mention another smartphone release coming around shortly. That will be exciting. I'm sure that'll be exciting. And if not, well, I'm going to say that it will be because I got nothing. Yep. Queues are full at the quickie stop. I know. We are up to $181,000, and sadly, that $181,000 will not go very far. I mean, check this out. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to pause it, because I don't actually mean to do this. $181,000. Look at that. We actually don't have enough money. That's one hundred eighty-two. dollars That would be the next step. Twenty-six by 35 For comparison's sake, this guy over here is 34 by 19 so it's actually about the same, which is kind of crazy. Could go 34 by um, 27. That would kind of work. I mean, I tend to build according to what I can fit via roads. So you know what? Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm glad you suggested that. Let's go ahead and build some roads. Those are not terribly expensive, and we can kind of use that as a way to plan where we shall be building things. Now, I'm going to continue on with this side of the road over here being parking. Uh, Yes, I can. That's because my mouse is a little too far over. The game, by the way, if you didn't know, it gets upset based on where your mouse cursor is, not what your intentions are. So if I intend to build like this, it's upset because my mouse cursor is not placed over the corresponding row or column that I am uh, supposed to be using, so there you go. It's all good, though. It's all good. It's going to take a little while for our crew to go ahead and pop down some roads. This is not going to be ready before Christmas. It's not going to be ready probably before that smartphone release comes out. It's because, really, what I'm looking at is placing these roads and using this as a bit of a planning feature. So, you know what? We can kind of do this right now. 238. I kind of like the idea of a giant square. 245 grand for that. Now, depending on how much money we make on Christmas Day, that might be feasible. I mean, obviously, it's still going to be a little while because we only have 177,000 now. And that number's going to keep going down a little bit as we continue to build roads. But then it will go up after the day's revenue is reconciled. So... That's all good. I'm actually feeling pretty decent about that as a placement for things. Now that means that we're going to have to leave a row down here. Can I do it like that? I sure can't. Okay. That's fine. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Remove road work. Try that again. Try add road work. There you go. That works better. Okay. So here's the plan. We are going to need some parking spots. Boy, are we going to need some parking spots. We'll do some staff parking along the side here, and we're going to do entirely staff parking on the back. So what we're going to end up doing is running the road across here, and then this is all going to be staff parking, and then all of this, the giant 35 square, is going to be... Let's go ahead and kick up the game speed. We don't need to be going that slow. That is all going to be the store. So we're going to have quite the, uh, I'd say, pretty sizable increase. Again, this one was what? 34 by 20, 34 by 19. So yeah, we're not going to quite 
double, but I mean, it's going to be a pretty sizable increase. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, before we get too far along in the day, I want to just kind of check and holy crap, do a comparison. Wow, the jewelry store is making the kind of money that I expected it to make all along. Camera store brought in a good chunk of change. Camera store has been pretty good for about five grand. The the clothing store has been good for about five grand, so six is not bad. Quickie Stop is just not looking great. The phone store, that's going to have a really good day soon. Video game store, it's okay. Grocery store is still pulling in pretty good change, I think, for a grocery store, fast food restaurant. 922, that's acceptable. That's pretty decent for it. We have store 31 and store 32, which I never did get around to naming. So we're going to have to do that. You know what? In honor of, um, oh man, I got to think for a second here. What is it called? It was, oh man. I think that's what it was called. I don't know that they still exist. That's kind of funny if they do, because we haven't had one in forever. This store, this is our DVD, etc. type store. So we're going to call you The Warehouse. If you still have a warehouse near you, let me know. Because as far as I know, those don't exist. This is a books and toy store. So let's call this one. Because these are going out of business too. Toys are us. I know, there probably are supposed to be apostrophes in there, which reminds me, I think I changed the name of that store a while ago, so never mind, I can't have fun with that anymore. Anyway, I wanted to kind of just go through and see what we're doing. These stores are still not making money. I think there's a chance for them to make money. I don't know that they'll regularly make money, but I'm okay with that. And I mean, we did kind of say staffing-wise, they are staffed a little heavily. And that once we get around to uh, Christmas and all of that, we might just opt to not run them as staff heavy as we are. So, we are officially in the Christmas season. It's kind of madness in the mall. Look at that. The stores are looking busy. It looks like the toy store and the warehouse are doing pretty well, if I had to guess. Grocery store is always doing well. I saw someone get their legs broken over there. All these stores are doing great. I was hoping that... Our jewelry store might do a little better than it is, but that's fine. All these little side shops over here looking good. Video game stores make money. Phone stores making money. The restaurants making money. Everyone's making money. Money, 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 money. Money. I'm liking it. Let's see what we have here. I mean, really, I'm just trying to get us some, some cashola here. Look at that. We briefly were over 200,000. Look at that, 232. Boom. Boom, 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 and we haven't even unlocked that. In case you were wondering, I have not forgotten. Okay, let us go into a little slower, actually here, let me slow down really slow, because I'm going to have to place some road work, and I want to make sure that when I place this, I am placing it appropriately. So I'm going to check my foundations first. I mean, this, this should be good, because I should be looking at 35 by... Oh no, that's not right. Okay, so 34 by 34 is what we want to do, not 35 by 35. So... That means we need to place... Yeah, see, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Let's cancel these guys. We're going to cancel them, and we need to do an additional roadway right there, because... That's where we want to cross. Because once we do that, then we can go ahead and put some customer parking, customer, customer parking, some staff only parking, as well as some loading zones right here. And then that will leave the proper spacing for a 34 by 34 store. Perfect. Let's keep going. What sort of queue problems were we looking at? Not as much as I thought. So what did we do on Christmas Day? $35,000. That is, hands down, our best day right there. We still have four days left in our online banner campaign. It's looking pretty good. 
I mean, I really can't say for certain that it's been a raging, roaring, exciting success, but I feel like it hasn't been bad. Don't you agree with me, Kitty? She's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe. She's not feeling overly enthused right now, but that's okay. Oh, no. Now are you feeling enthused? All right. Well, it's all good. It takes a little while to get stuff built these days. We don't have a ton of staff. There have been times when I have gone overboard on hiring the construction staff. The maintenance crew. We've gone crazy. Careful crossing the street. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was frightening. I hope no one got hit. Yeah, I know. We are working on a second grocery store that is literally going to be across the street from that grocery store. Do you think it's going to matter? I don't know, because I really do want to have an even bigger grocery store. I'm not kidding about that. We'll see how it goes. We should, by the end of the day, have enough money to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the foundation. I'm going to wait just a moment here. Waiting a moment. Moment, malbitation! Oh, crap. That didn't look good. Catch it! Okay, good. Sorry. I got a baseball game going on, too. We have $250,000. Okay, perfect. So before I do something dumb, let's put some staff-only parking in. So we're going to do something like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, which leaves the spot right in the center for the loading zone. That means the door is going to be right there because, you know, try and be efficient and all that sort of stuff, which means we can now afford to put in... Technically, we could do 34 by 35. I mean, technically. Technically, we could, but I kind of like it being within the lines, you know? We'll stick to the lines and have it a nice square Square as square can be building. It's going to take them a couple days to do this, I think. I, I may be wrong. I mean, look at that. We got a little bit of overlap on our staffing. That's not going to last terribly long. I mean, they're just rip-roaring and rocking and knocking these things out. They are just stapling and nailing and hammering and wrenching and taping and whatever it is people do to actually construct buildings. Pretty sure tape is heavily involved. Lots of tape. Lots of duct tape. Maybe some gaffer tape, too. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that. I've, I've never really done proper construction, so probably shows, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. I meant to check, by the way. How did you do the other day? Look at that. On Christmas Day, made $1,000. That's exciting. The warehouse on Christmas Day made a negative $89. That's exciting. I'm going to let these guys run for a little while. But not too long, because they are not really money makers, which, that's a shame. I mean, um, I don't know. There's, there's a big demand for toys. There's a big demand for uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and music CDs, but not enough for what we actually have. So we'll end up just... Dropping the staffing levels down is what we're going to do. We might end up going with a three-person rotation on the cashier desk. The cashier window. The cashier station. And that should help kind of uh, stem the blood flow a little. I mean, we'll see. It might not be perfect, but I feel like it's a, it's a good start, if nothing else. Assuming that they continue to bleed money. I mean, I guess we could always just do, you know, another jewelry store. What is that even under? Health and beauty, uh, be, 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 clothing? Jewelry. Look at that. I mean, technically, we could do another closing, clothing store, and I've thought about that. Well, that's actually something I've kind of given a little thought to, is if we get this thing open and this actually satisfies our grocery needs, which I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying if it does, then maybe we can turn this into a couple of stores. I mean, we never really did get a proper, like, appliance store or anything like that going. I mean, I know there are washers and dryers and all that sort of stuff in here. There's all sorts of random crap in this store. Are you kidding me? Lots of snacks. I don't know why there are so many snacks and candies. Whatever, it's all good. Cookies, all sorts of good stuff. And then washers, dryers, refrigerators, all that sort of thing. But maybe we can turn that into a couple of other stores. 
I don't know. I mean, it's all good. We can, we can kind of figure that out. Let us build a couple of things back here. We're going to do some staff doors. Unfortunately, this building has the problem of being evenly spaced. That Those, I, I don't like even even buildings. They're a they're problem. I like odd buildings because then they're, they're just so much easier to deal with. I mean, come on. Parking will probably end up coming primarily from this direction. I'm thinking some of it's going to come from this direction, so we'll probably have to do something similar like we did with this door here and do kind of doors at uh, either end here. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started on that. We ended up doing double doors. I guess for aesthetic purposes, that's okay. I think that's going to go where I want that to go. And then I think that's going to go where I want that one to go. Look at that. This building is actually done. Let's slow things down just a little bit. What do we have going on here? Bus Transport 4 has been completed. You are not researching any project at the moment because there is nothing to research. Therefore, let us start... Oh, you know what? Let's try something fun here. Let's do an online video. That's going to run for 10 days. It's going to be a design quality of high. Because we have the money to spare. Actually. Hmm. Let's do high. That sounds great. So there is some daily maintenance on all of this stuff. We have an average daily progress of 30.7 man hours. And I want to start a... I didn't mean to do that one. Let's change that to a nice high-quality one. We'll run that for... Um, sure, 10 days. And then we'll do a local television ad at high quality and run that for... Uh, let's cancel that one for right now because we're going to run out of money otherwise. But we are going to run a bunch of these. Now, I'm going to go back into the marketing screen in just a moment here, but I want to kind of get started on placing a few of these things before I get sidetracked, because you know me, squirrel. So we're going to pop these guys down right here. We're going to kind of, in some respects, mirror this building, I think, with the exception that uh, this building is going to be problematic. So one, two, three, four, I don't know, right about... Let's see, where, where does that line up to? Right about there. And if we go... Nope, I don't want that one. I want walls. I want walls. I want to build walls. I'm going to have to pause that because otherwise they're going to come build stuff. And I don't really want them to build stuff. Not yet, anyway. I think I want to space that out a little differently. So if we do something like this... That gives us 10. If we do something like this, look at that. I have a good eye. Who knew? Certainly not me. And then we can do something like this. We'll put some doors in momentarily. And we're going to do a much larger bathroom, obviously. That's fine. Let's go back into our marketing screen now. That was the one thing I really wanted to do. So what do we need here? We have a daily maintenance of 8 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours... And I didn't technically start that one, so that one's just kind of hanging. So 8 and 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17. And you'll notice we have 30.7 office hours. So rather than firing people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage the office. We're going to do some shift planning. And we're going to reduce the office hours of everyone. So I just need to see, what's that going to give us? 23 man hours, or office hours, or whatever we're calling it. So let's drop you down to half. We're going to make everyone part-time. I am so sorry. I know you probably have bills you need to pay and all that sort of stuff. So I guess I need to do a little more. So here, let's do... We'll do everyone right there, because there are go there's going to be a design element, too. So I need to make sure I have enough hours to cover that. 
So 23 man hours. There's going to be a design phase of 48 hours. Oh, man, design phase of 15 hours. Design phase of, let's see, you're in the daily maintenance phase. So you know what? You know what? I'm actually, I, I take it back. I don't think I want to drop anyone down just yet. Let's put everyone back. I don't know. Is that, is that where they were? I've already kind of lost track. I think they have one more. They were our, they were all eight-hour employees, and if not, I'm making them as such. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to stagger them just a little. I have no particular rhyme or reason for that, other than I want to see that vending machine get more use. Not all at the same time. I want to see more, more instances of people using it. So let's go ahead and resume the game. This is going to take a little while to design this building, if it is not at all obvious, but I'm hoping that someone will come in and knock up some walls for us right quick. That would be great. That would be great. We're going to need a new maintenance center at some point, too. Maybe we put that... Maybe we put that in this building. I don't know. I'm not sure, because apparently... It's going to say no one wants to come in and do the work that I have scheduled in here. That's... That's fine. I guess that's... No, you know what? That's not fine. I take it back. That is not okay. This crap needs to be done. There we go. And then we'll do two of these guys. And we need a couple of doors. There you go. Ideally, they will do that before they run away. That would be great. And here is where we get to leave it. So we got Valentine's Day. Rocking and rolling. And we're going to resume... Valentine's Day on the next episode as we continue to install toilets and other bathroom type things. So I'll catch you on that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.